You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch folks. I'm rocking the ESP CNN shirt. But probably, you know, me and Rhodes probably need to make some kind of a a Walt shirt with Undisputed Man, because what we're going to be talking about today was Shannon Sharp. He went to another level on being woke. Now, the woke sports media, man, they're just as bad as some of these sports leads themselves. OK, um, you guys may not know this, but uh, the Dallas Cowboys, man, defense, they've been actually looking a little bit better as of late. OK, now. To start the season, that defense was historically bad. I mean, really, really bad. But uh, on Sunday, I was watching the game. The defense was actually pretty good. You know, especially in the first half, um, they were kind of they kind of lasted a little bit, I believe, in the second half. But the Dallas Cow Cowboys won the game, and some kind of way, they only won game out of first place. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys are three and seven. NFC East is absolutely awful. No team is good whatsoever. None. Andy Dalton, man, man, I don't know what to say about him. I really don't. But the defense has looked like it has improved, okay? But um, Mike McCarthy now is pretty much being called a racist by Shannon Sharp because Mike McCarthy used some uh, motivational te techniques that actually paid off in that Dallas Cowboys victory on Sunday, okay? He actually brought in some um, watermelons and a sledgehammer to motivate the defense. And folks, for the most part this season, man, that defense needs the most motivation that possibly is. OK, but yet, you know, Shannon Sharp, man, he likes to race bait every single thing. And he does a lot of race bait, man. I, I got to be honest with you guys. I haven't watched first take in probably like three weeks. You know, I was actually watching a lot of uh, first take with um, when Skip Bayless was there and then he went away and then Matt Kellerman came in and was getting super duper woke and I turned them off and watched them since that's been about four years now. And lately, especially this summer, man, Shannon Sharp and his race baiting has really, really turned me off, you know, and all the wokeness, you know, it's probably no mistake, you know, that Shannon Sharp actually believes that LeBron James is the goat of the NBA. We know he's not. But that's what Shannon Sharp believes. OK, but um, it, it, it's very interesting, you know, that Shannon, Shannon Sharp would actually have this take on Mike McCarthy. OK, basically calling him a racist. Let's just call it what it is. And there's a clip here. OK, and thanks to the guys over here at Outkick. You can see the title here. It says here comes the Mike McCarthy is racist for the watermelon stunt drama. That didn't take long, less than 24 hours after it was announced that Mike McCarthy used watermelons and a sledgehammer to motivate his defense ahead of Sunday's game against Dalvin Cook and the Minnesota Vikings. Some are accusing Mike, Mike McCarthy of being racist for using watermelons. Shannon Sharp fired away with the hot take this morning on FS1's Undisputed, saying of the Cowboys head coach. Well, let's just play the clip here because I don't want to repeat it because I'm going to play the clip anyway here. So. Let's just listen in and see what Shannon Sharp has to say on this. I don't think it's fun. And listen, you're white America. <clears throat> Anytime you have black people in your presence, watermelon has a negative connotation. Yep. Okay, let me stop right there. Watermelon has a negative connotation, okay? Black people love watermelon. I'm out here in the South. You know, Shannon's from the um, South, too. We all love watermelon, folks. We do. It's not a black thing. Now, me personally, I'm not eating watermelon right now, you know, because of the carbs. I'm on a low carb diet. But let's move on. Let it go. Mm. Let it go. Things that were acceptable many, many years ago, even though it wasn't acceptable, it was tolerated. It's unacceptable. It will not be tolerated. Find another tool, another mechanism to make to motivate your players, black players. If you need somebody, a white man smashing watermelon to get you motivated, you're in the wrong line of business. Mm. It's not funny. It's not cute. I've been up. I don't get these young guys anymore. I really don't. 
Because ain't no way in hell Mike Shanahan, Dan Reeves, Wade Phillips, or any of my coaches could have ever brought a watermelon. And what? And you think that's cool? And he bragged about it. Hey, we're going to keep this on the hush. Mm -hmm. He openly talking about it. He did. First of all, when I saw the watermelon coach, what you doing with that? If you ain't going to a picnic, mm -hmm. if you ain't going to a cookout or a barbecue, man, you better not have no watermelons coming up in there talking about we smashing this. I don't know what Mike McCarthy was thinking. And I don't know what those black players in the locker room was thinking to allow him to do that. Agreed. Man. And then you got uh, uh, Joe Looney. Woke sports media, man. You notice that the players did not have a problem with uh, Coach McCarthy. They didn't have a problem with it. And this would not be a big deal, you know, if nothing came out. The players didn't complain. But, of course, you know, Shannon Sharp has to complain. And if you know Shannon Sharp, man, he's not a fan of the Cowboys. He always hates on the Cowboys. He's always ragging on them, you know. I don't know if the Cowboys, you know, they haven't been the Cowboys in so long. But no matter what Mike McCarthy would have did, you know, Shannon would have complained about it. He would have found some kind of way to bring race into this. And he brings up the black players on the Dallas Cowboys, you know, criticizing them for not speaking up and saying anything. You know what? Maybe those guys aren't as woke as you are, Shannon Sharp. Maybe those guys aren't as woke like your boy LeBron James, who has destroyed the NBA. See, these are the kind of things, man, that will destroy your sports league, man. When everything is about race, when you're out there preaching false narratives, your league will go down, i.e. the NBA and LeWoke James. But Shannon Sharp, you know, that's his boy, man. That's his boy. Like I said before, man, I was in the military, man. And if something like that offends you, a guy like Shannon Sharp would not have made it in the military. He wouldn't have, man. Because, you know, they were, they found a lot of different ways to motivate you. A lot of different ways. And I believe, you know, Shannon Sharp, yeah, he looks big and strong, man. But, man, he is a wimp. I mean, he gets offended by everything, man. And when I was in the Navy, man, people were always ragging on you, always ragging on you, and it toughened you up, man. But a guy like Shannon Sharp, man, everything is racist. Every little thing is racist to this guy. Everything. You know, you walk down the street, oh, whoa, they're looking at me because I'm black. They don't like me. Shannon Sharp is a very, very successful person, man. But I don't know if I can actually watch Undisputed again with Skip and Shannon because the race baiting has gotten out of control on this show ever since George Floyd earlier this summer. And before that, man, I was watching this show all the time. And I, I have missed a lot of shows and it's probably been about three weeks since I've watched anything on this show. I don't think I'm going back to the show because Shannon Sharp is basically the new Matt's Kellerman now. You know, I remember when Undisputed started, man, they went years without, you know, going woke, not getting into politics. The things that turned me off from first take is happening right now on Undisputed. And race baiting, man, that needs to stop, man. It needs to stop. Stop being offended by every single thing. The players weren't, off weren't offended. You know, they stand behind Mike, Mike McCarthy, Shannon Sharp. You're just too woke, man. You're just way too woke. And I'm pretty much saying I am done with Undisputed. I really, really do believe I am done with Undisputed. And Skip was just sitting there like, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how Skip really feels on this, you know, because what if Skip said, you know, oh, I don't agree with you on that, Shannon. You know what? The SJW, SJWs would have went after Skip Bayless and called him a racist, you know, because he's a white man and he's disagreeing with a black man on this. I know it 100%. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Shannon Sharp going full-blown SJW, man. The Wolt Sports Media, Wolt Sports, the NBA. These are the reasons why, man. Channels like this one, OutKick, Sports Wars. That's why we're thriving right now. Because Wolt Sports, man, is out of control. And the Wolt Sports Media, man, they are the enablers of the woke athletes out there. This is a prime example right here. 
Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.